Hey Fix, what's up? It's Chris, founder of Fixer.com, and in today's video, real quick, I want to show you how to check if a current time of your current system time is within a certain range in Python. So uh, oftentimes you 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 just need to check whether whether given time, so say the user types in a time, or you actually on your system, whether you whether this time falls into a certain range. For example, if you have like system scheduling or you have a server running a server and you want to schedule some Python tasks regularly at a certain time every day, you need to check whether this certain time so frequently you need to check for example um, uh, whether the current time falls into the range uh, where you want to actually perform some work for example yeah so this is like, like a small little task and let's dive into the into the um, best way of accomplishing this so first of all we import the date time module and we have already on the Finkster channel um, uh, many many videos actually um, on Finkster Academy as well uh, about the date time um, module which basically allows you to do those basic processing tasks because the date time objects they are also comparable so you can compare compare uh, like different daytime objects where they are smaller or larger than a certain other certain um, other daytime objects so this like these objects allow you to very easily work with dates and times timestamps and so on yeah and ranges as well so and we want to have a function time in range it takes a start value and an end value and a current time and then we want to basically uh, return so I just have the dummy so the, repl uh, the dummy value pass um, and this is what we want to replace with some functionality so that it returns whether the current timestamp falls in the interval interval uh, interval start and e between start and end right and uh, so something an example would be uh, this we have uh, the start timestamp we use date time dot time to create a new, a new timestamp and say this is like from um, so we have here hours minutes and seconds so we have zero 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 from zero o'clock to end date time dot time 23 so for example this is now the uh it's uh um 20, 23 hours 55 minutes and say say 50 say zero seconds so only the last five minutes of the day um until 12 o'clock uh, like uh, 24 o'clock um we actually want to um check the so so like all the current time should when it falls into this interval between start and end, like the whole day, it should basically return true. Uh, only in the last five minutes of the day, it should return false, right? So this is what we want to accomplish. So now, how get, can we get the current time? It's uh, quite uh, clunky, I would say, <laughs> to get the current time with the date time li uh, library, but it is possible. So you can simply call the date time dot importing the date time um, um, object and uh, module uh, like sub module and we call the function now and then we convert this gives us um, a time like I think a time object and we need to we need, we need to convert it into a daytime object using this time uh, function call this is just just something you have to check uh, um, how you can basically get a daytime objects uh, how you can convert different daytime objects uh, w uh, in, in, in t into each other. Okay, and then what you are doing is simply you you call time in range. You give the start timestamp, the end timestamp, and the current timestamp, and this should return true at this point because today uh, it's like uh, 11 o'clock on my on my PC, so it should return true. Uh, if I get my current system time, it should return true, right? And um, so let's implement this it's pretty simple actually so we have a return statement we call start is smaller or equal current is smaller or equal end so we see we have this uh, double comparison operator this is basically semantically identical to calling uh, return start is smaller or equal than current and current is smaller or equal and right so this is this is like these two hours are um, uh, semantically identical it's just a uh, like um, uh, syntactic sugar to actually uh, write it like this in Python it's absolutely possible to have this uh, chaining different comparison operators into each other and this just it's just identical to the second option but we remain with the more idiomatic f first option so we have the chaining together these comparison operators and you see you can on daytime objects you can perform basic comparisons so uh, we say 
these um, objects are comparable. So they implement a comparable interface, um, like the Dunder methods, uh, for example, for equality and greater than and smaller than and so on. So they implement the daytime object imp objects, implement them so you can basically simply check do some like um, like uh, arithmetic <laughs> computations and comparisons on those objects. Okay, so let's run this code. It gives me true. Okay, so let's let's maybe change it. So we want to check whether the start time and the end time is between zero, 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 and one hours fifty five minutes and uh, zero seconds. So this should now return false because, as I said, it's eleven o'clock. So if you have now twelve then it should return true again, okay? So it works, it uh, basically checks whether your current time falls within a certain interval. I think this is the most the simplest solution. So you have simply, you have this function and you basically, the solution is this part. Uh, you check start is smaller equal, current is smaller equal, and that's it, okay? Thanks for listening to this video and see you in the next video, bye.